computer. Recording in progress. Hello, everybody. How are you? My wife is getting me coffee. because I forgot to get it at the last moment. Always before I sign on, there's some kind of problem. It's not with uh, this, but I um, I feed to my uh, my server uh, all the information. Well, anyway, you don't have to know how the how the cow is how the steak is made. You just you know want to kill the cow. I don't anyway. I just was having all kinds of problems, and it's always a, another problem, and it's never my fault. I wish it were my blame myself okay so anyway hey listen we got a lot of people waiting boy they're all look at all the people who are waiting to go oh, thank you so much dear <laughs> she's, she's bringing me my where are all uh, the people i don't see them see there that's all the people oh, charlie uh -huh. and ed and lynn and rick mm -hmm. who's the s boys oh, well i don't know go to your go to your go to now. your post okay <laughs> close the door there we go and we're ready to go with these people, okay? Hey, everybody, everybody. There's Rick, and there's Edward Berger. That's Rick right. Scott Boddicker and Steve Bender and uh, 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 Len LaFrisco. Hey, everybody. How are you? Good to see Fine. you. Fine. And hopefully we'll get joined by other people as well. Uh, so anyway, oh. How you doing all? Uh, it's um it's a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cold and rainy Monday. Cold. Boy, all your all your pictures are looking really clean and perfect. What is that? <laughs> is, could it be that Zoom has improved their output or something? Does everybody's picture look better? Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Everybody's sharp. Yeah. Everybody's really sharp. Maybe they all went out and got good cameras. I don't know. <laughs> and we'll be joined by Marjorie soon, and I hope a few other people as we go along. Isn't Marjorie still watching tennis? <laughs> <laughs> that with such disdain, it's so funny. You know, my my thrill was waking up yesterday, and because she watches it early. Well, okay. it was, what it was a five and a half hour match, the men's final. I mean, yeah, I love tennis, but. Hey, you know <laughs> who needs it, right? Right. Yeah, but I enjoy tennis. But five and a half hours. One match was five and a half hours. Yeah. The uh, men's final. Yeah. Holy yeah. crap! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nadal lost the first two sets. The third set, he was down three match points, came back, and then won the other two, all three sets uh, after that. Wow. Yeah, here, here comes here comes Marjorie. I know I don't want to remove Marjorie. I want to add her. I want to, oh, I see. It. You know, the remove is right next to the admit. <laughs> <laughs> How, hey, hello to William Ferguson. He has called our nighttime show on upon occasion, I guess. And uh, hey, you decided to join our little festival here, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so it happened. It was like, oh, shit, I got to get over there. Yeah. Yeah, everybody looks so clear today. Maybe, <laughs> did, did, maybe, uh, maybe you had cataract surgery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is the delayed effect of your eye surgery. Be, speaking yeah. of cataract surgery, Shecky, gonna have cataract surgery. March. My yeah. uh, my wife just had it done about two weeks ago, and it's the best thing she ever did. She cannot believe how clear things are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, my mine when I noticed it, I just saw a it was fuzzy in the middle of my eye. Mm -hmm. You know. Now she's realizing that the other eye isn't so good. And she's gonna have to go do the other one. Well, well I had to do both. Well, yeah. the, the well I'm having both done, but one two weeks after the first one. Yeah. Oh, okay. You may as well get the other one done anyway, because it's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, but they like to wait till it's ripe. Right. Well, they want to make sure the first one that you're not blind. Can we yeah, right. that's why they have the two weeks in between. I think it, I think it's nature's way or God's way or nature's way of saying, you're I didn't old. think I didn't know. I didn't think you were going to live this <laughs> yeah, long. You're too fucking old. <laughs> so I only made this thing to last like 65 years. Well, it's like your prostate, Alex. Nobody thought you were going to live 82. 
it, well, you know, if you live oh. be old enough, you know, you'll probably get prostate cancer. Yeah, it's going to yeah. go eventually. A long enough timeline, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, folks, welcome to our program where we talk about prostate <laughs> surgery and cataracts. And we are, we are all just old. waiting room. Yeah. Well, would you I, rather talk about our new mayor? He shoveled snow on Saturday or Sunday. Himself? Uh, oh, yeah. Team coverage of it. <laughs> <laughs> he shoveled his front walk in Brooklyn, I guess is where he lives. Or where oh, boy. No oh, boy. Alex, I would like to hear your thoughts on the Spotify and Joe Rogan thing. I, I unsubscribed from Spotify today. Well, you know, we have our we have our programs on Spotify. Do and I've been considering just can canceling them all. Well, they don't pay anything. They don't pay anything, right? They give the lowest artist rate of any streaming service. Well, they don't pay me anything. Bad. but they don't pay anyone. They pay a, th a thousand streams gets about um, two dollars. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's too much. I, I read it was like two dollars and change, whereas Title and um, Apple are about six fifty. Well, there were a couple of initial thoughts that I heard. I had uh, first of all, um, it was uh, let's see here. It was um, um, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell. Neil Young and Joni Mitchell who have said they are taking their stuff off Spotify, and Spotify is probably sitting there going, "Ouch." Yes. I heard Yoko Ono was going to threaten to put music on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Harry and Megan. Harry and Megan. Harry and Megan are, well, they're not canceling. They're, they're cancel. no, because they're media whores. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've lost, they've lost about $4 billion in market share since this, but I don't know if it's directly cause and effect, but since the really? thing, yeah, I mean, people are bailing like crazy. Yeah, I, th I don't think it's so much well, I read that. Uh, over the weekend that you couldn't cancel it online, that they weren't accepting cancellations. You can, <laughs> you can, but, they, but their customer service was not, they wouldn't answer any questions. They were down on customer service. <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy you know i mean it's shitty, shitty sound quality it's more expensive than apple or title and they don't pay their artists and they have this guy you know killing people and i don't hate joe rogan as a comedian but this he's just irresponsible about this shit well i mean how many people have died as a result of listening to his advice yeah probably okay. several at least right? well if if it was one it's one too many, too many you know and the service said that they don't want to be censors, which is, I understand that's fine for, say, people like me who are just doing my show and maybe I have some opinions on here or whatever. Um, but I just don't see that that's the, you is know. It, is it censorship if you prohibit harmful misinformation? Like what if he said, okay, well, kids, no, the, the difference what if he here. said something like, you know. Kid, There's yeah, a difference ahead. here. They're paying him a hundred million, hundred million dollars a year or something, or a contract for a hundred million dollars. They're paying him, so therefore they are responsible for that content and anything that goes on it. And if anything's irresponsible, they have the right to censor it. It has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Now, in my case, I don't get paid anything. How dare you censor me? Okay, but in his case, they are financially uh, linked. To Joe Rogan. Morals Club. And by the way, who the hell is he? <laughs> well, he was the host of the, uh, what was that? Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Oh, and he does a lot of, he does a lot of mixed I martial arts. I know order. the name, but what the hell was that show? You know, where did he ate worms. Or... He ate yeah. worms on TV. Now he's eating sheep fertilizer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's boy. like the real housewives of Utah. Oh, media star, whoever her name is. Oh my God! You know, they just, fired they just, from the Real Housewives of Utah. Oh, I care. They announced the celebrity uh, Big Brother people, and I didn't know who any of those fucking people are. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> well, when Rogan when Rogan does stand up, he could sell out Madison Square Garden in five minutes. I mean, it's... but he's not even a funny oh, comedian. No, he's not particularly. No. no, I never thought. You know, I never. I. Basically, I thought Joe Rogan was some guy who wound up being he wound up being a host on a, a game show because he couldn't get any other work as a comedian. Mm. And yeah, then he decides I'm going to, you know, go and 
throw out certain opinions. I, I've never heard him. I've never heard him. Uh, Anybody never, here I, heard him? I, I listened to. I listened. Him. I, saw, I caught one episode. Okay, uh, Steve, you've heard him. Yeah. Okay. What? What? What's the big whoop? <laughs> I think he's. You know, I don't know. He's um this. He represents, I think, a kind of toxic masculine bro type guy. He says he, he takes testosterone. He hosts <laughs> he hosts mixed martial arts. He's a bodybuilder, and he's not particularly funny. He's got you know, he's kind of like a weird. I mean, he steals a lot from Stern, I think, but you said Stern stole a lot from you, so <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it's all. Yeah, so, what, so it's all Alex. He's fault. a third generation Bennett. Yeah, you started all this shit, dude. I'm sorry. I know. Is he an Andrew Dice Clay type person, Steve, or what? Uh, it's not really. Andrew Dice Clay is a lot funnier than Joe Rogan. Andrew oh, Dice Clay. Was, Andrew that's Dice Clay was an act. That's a character. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Sure. If you ever saw him on what was it, Crime Story, Dice Clay before he became quote Dice Clay, right. good actor. A very good actor. In fact, I felt that the whole thing with him going and doing that stand-up comedy thing, which he really wasn't a stand-up comedian. He was yeah. really an actor. Uh, I saw him in a couple of things like casual sex and so on. And he was very good at Huh? Blue yes, he's very good. Yeah. He's very good. You know, he's a very good actor. And hmm. I felt that it ruined a good acting career. You know, that whole Dice Clay. Yeah, but he made a lot Please. of money. So. What? He made a lot of money doing the comedy act. Yeah, yeah, I, guess, dog. I guess so. <laughs> you know what I did this weekend? This week, I um, I I somehow I, there was some interview I saw. I think Cavett interviewing Jack Parr. So I figured I really miss Jack Parr. I'm gonna do a weekend of nothing but Jack Parr on YouTube. You can't find any of his old NBC shows, the Kinneys. They're very hard to find. You because can, they were erased. Yeah, but you can find you can find his um uh, uh the hour show. The hour shows. Well, yeah, the ones he did is a weekly show. Um and but I watched a lot of interviews with him, one with Dave, one with Parr, and one with somebody else. He always told the same stories on every show. I thought he was this great raconteur, and these were all coming off the top of his head. But about the fifth time I heard the same story, I went, gee. Did he talk about knowing Groucho? That's, that's no, 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 that, that's Cavett. That's, that's Cavett. Cavett. That's yeah. Cavett. Yeah. And Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Cavett knew who knows Woody. Who knew? <laughs> Woody, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, I was boy. talking to Woody last night, and Woody said to me, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> What 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 is that? I'm vaping. Oh, you're vaping. Oh, <laughs> that's all just water vapor, right? Right. That's not smoke. No. I would not smell that if I were there with you. No, I very could, little. That's why very I can little. I can choke up here in the in the apartment, and, and my landlord's not going to thank me for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because okay. you can't do that. You can't smoke in your apartment in California anymore. So how much do you vape? Like if, if, if I said to you, uh, you're probably vaping because you don't want to smoke, right? Which I think is the obvious reason, right? Well, I, I quit. I quit about three months ago. No, but you're vaping. Yeah, I quit smoking. I don't smoke cigarettes or cigars anymore. But do you vape tobacco? No, I don't vape tobacco. What are you vaping? It's, Weed. It's, it's nicotine. It's straight, nic straight nicotine. Oh. That's with it. Flavor. With flavor. With flavor. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like cigarettes. Same thing. Yeah. You're getting your nicotine fix. Yeah. I date marijuana. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, that's the good stuff. So I'm gonna vape. It's not gonna I be nicotine. Good. You know, I, <laughs> I can't. I can't vape pot, and I'll tell you why. You, you vape it. But no, that one vape thing. But the one other one you have is so strong that I it just rips my lungs to shreds. You know, turn the coil down. Turn the coil down. How do you turn the coil down? Well, if you see here, you got the buttons. These two little buttons right here. I don't get over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could you could turn down the the ohms or the wattage. Yeah. Oh, the one we have just has one button. Oh, okay. So you can't turn. It up. There may be a, there may be a thing you can turn. I think. There is. All I know is it was just like 
coming it, in strong. God, it might, be, it might be if you hold the button, it raises and lowers it. That could be. That could be. I don't know. We have to hold the button in order to to breathe right. it in. Did we get instructions with that vape? <laughs> she smoked them. <laughs> 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 Put them in the vape and smoke them. And I also find that it's hard to tell how high you're going to get with a, with a, with a joint. I kind of know, you know. It's just not going in the whole fun of it. You can't really get too <laughs> high, Alex. I mean, I've, there's a there is a point you can actually smoke yourself sober. I've really? Done yeah, I've done it. See, I don't like any. I, the thing is about with grass. Well, the thing about pods, the reason I don't do it lately is if I, if, sober with grass? Yeah. if I do too much pot. You do too much pot, it actually has the reverse effect on no, it. No, but if I do too much pot, I get very anxious and very paranoid and all kinds of things. So I have to oh, just take... normal? I, <laughs> <laughs> what else is You want me there? to tell you, I got to tell you something about Marjorie. Oh, oh, here we go. Here, we go. Here, comes, here comes the family argument. <laughs> and let me just say this before I start. I love her. Okay, we leave it at that. Uh-oh. Lately, her, her new excuse for everything is, what is it, dear? What? I don't remember. I don't remember. I have memory issues. Oh, I do have memory issues. <laughs> Um, and and if, if she has the memory issues she likes to think she has, I do. Then why she remembers that I forgot didn't pick her up at the hospital after she had an operation to this day? <laughs> because that gets etched into the head. Oh, I see. That's that's just etched in there, is it? She was watching a documentary on on John Delorean. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and then I said, "Did he did he wind up going to jail?" And she says, "I don't know." I said, "You just watched the documentary," and she couldn't I don't, remember. I don't, I don't think he went to jail. <laughs> I have memory issues. See, oh, wow. see, there's the excuse. Well, true. You know, she, it, it's the COVID excuse, but with her memory <laughs> issues. You know, we can't do that now. We have. Co I can't take out the garbage, dear. I've got COVID. You know. Yes, yeah. he was given ten years. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Did he serve ten years? Let me died, see. Didn't he? he died in a one-bedroom apartment. Yeah, Delorean case figure. Oh, oh. oh, it was Hetrick that got ten years. It was one one of the people, one of the guys he was with, I guess. Swindling with. Oh boy. Well, he served some time, didn't he? I'm trying to I'm trying to find out here. John DeLorean. John DeLorean, in case people don't even know. Uh, when did this all happen? 80s. In the 70s. But this didn't yeah. happen in the 70s. Early 80s. Yeah. yeah. 80s. Everyone knows the car from Back to the Future, right? Right. Yes, you're right. It has it had, that had to be the time. But anyway, that was the car he came out with, and then he got charged with when with uh, selling coke i think yeah. well that was the first one then he got charged with swindling mm. that's what he went to prison for he didn't go for the coke no he got off on that one. Oh wow okay <laughs> how long ago was this this seems like it was yesterday to me yeah, it was in the 70s 1984 yeah it wow. ain't uh no he was acquitted on everything including the tax evasion Oh really? He was yeah. acquitted on that. Yeah, he was acquitted on all those charges. So how can we wound up living in an apartment in Santa Monica? One bedroom apartment. He had no money. Yeah. Yeah. Died well, at eighty. He was right? married four times. That that's one. That'll kill you. That'll Died do it. Heart attack. Heart attack. He was married to some like big model or something, wasn't he? She was the top model in the world, and after after the um. The criminal offense, she couldn't get a job. She got one modeling job, was paid $105. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Christina Ferrari. Christina yeah. Ferrari. Yeah. Great. Great. 
He declared bankruptcy in '99, so that's probably why he ended up in a in a ho- in a apartment. One bedroom. Money. Yeah, in the one bedroom. Well, just because. Yeah. Let me. Uh, Shecky knows. Shecky has the degree in money here. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> if you go bankrupt, don't, don't they leave you with something? It Not depends money. upon what state you're in. Yeah. Like in Florida, they can't take your place of residence. Oh, he died in Jersey, by the way. Right. A lot of people have died in Jersey. (laughs) They're dying all the time in Jersey. I think I died in Jersey once. (laughs) Please, dear, if if at some point we're in New Jersey and I keel over and die, drag my body to New York. (laughs) So they can't say I died in New Jersey. And erase his browser history. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, so, um, um, uh, Shecky, how was the snow out there? You, we, we had our, we had our big snow. Storm. Well, I, you know, I told you my neighbor snow blowed a path. So he blew you. He blew so you. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I did a path to the street. Yeah. And then today, one of the teachers from the school across the street decided to block my driveway. <laughs> Not that I was going anywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. Because right. I can't get the car out of the garage. Until He's the across the street from the, the from the school you went to when you were a kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of the teachers decided, well, since it's snow, you know, the driveway is snowed in. I'm just going to park in front of the driveway. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Oh, anyway, so because you in get the back of my mind. I have nowhere to go. But I keep thinking about maybe I want to try to blast the car out of the garage through the drift just to get mm-hmm. to the street. But I have nowhere to go. So I think it's going to rain Thursday. I'll wait. Uh, is it going to be warmer when it rains or is that it's just be like 54 on Thursday? Oh, really? Yeah. What, what is this? Yeah, I mean, it, well, the weather's always crazy. I mean, we always say that. Oh, it's winter. It you know, and again, if I need to get to Manhattan, I can either walk to the F train or take the bus mm-hmm. that's two blocks away. So I'm not trapped, if you want to call it that. How were you? How was it where you were, Steve? You know, there was a fair amount of snow, but they clear it so quickly. It's well, my 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 street is cleared. Yeah. It's just my driveway is not cleared yeah. because the snow plow the, the city doesn't come and snow plow your driveway right yeah. how's the snow where you are ray <laughs> oh you mean in the sierras <laughs> you know it isn't the sierras it's the sierra oh yeah, yeah. It everyone is. says the sierras though yeah. yeah yeah but it's the sierra there is there's only one sierra yeah. Uh-huh. You know, Sierra, if there were a couple of mountain ranges called Sierra, then they'd be the Sierras. Who's calling me? My business manager is calling me. Huh? <laughs> Come on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm doing a damn yeah. show here. Gary, I'm, I'm doing a show right now. Gary, I'm doing a show right now. That's what I see. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to be a guest star. Oh, well. Yes, I guess star. Bye bye. Uh, I oh, have something to plug. That's my <laughs> that's my money guy. Yeah. But yeah, I could get if I need to go somewhere, other than quote, let's say drive out to Costco, I can get to Manhattan in a sec, you know, easily. Okay. Now here's the thing. I don't know what Gary was calling about. The other day, what we're doing is taking a whole bunch of money from Marjorie's account and putting it in my account so we can take it from my account and send it to my lawyer so he can pay off this guy his 75 grand, you know, to get him to shut up. But we're not going to send it yet because we've yet to see a lease. It's a whole thing. But anyway, the point is, he sends me a note the other day saying, yeah, the bank is going to charge Marjorie fifty dollars to move her money from your place to his uh, to their place, and then from when you send it to the lawyer, it's going to be a tw- another twenty. I'm thinking is that a, is that a wire transfer as opposed to writing a check? Is it a wire transfer, Marjorie? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody writes checks. Anymore. I mean, but why? What? 
come, it's a wire transfer from the bank I do business with. All right. Yeah. Or that she does business with. Why? Well, why? Why? why uh, uh, don't these crooks really understand that every time you turn around, you don't want to, have to pay another bunch of money but to them? You for pay time? it. Right. Yeah. They know they can get away with it, so they do it. You've got no, you've got no choice. Right. You got no that, choice. Exactly. But that's what I mean. Yeah. You got, you know, they they're gonna charge you, and what are you supposed to say? No. And they go like, well, screw you. It's like it's you like an eighteen dollar convenience fee on a Ticketmaster ticket. You know? Yeah. 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 But then also, we Marjorie was trying to sell and send thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars to my account. Uh, my business manager is trying to do it. They won't do more than $25,000 a day. No, but before that, they, they closed my account and <sighs> said some unusual action is going on. You do not have access to your account. I couldn't even get on my account and see what was wrong with it. <laughs> it took yeah. me a whole day, remember? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 oh, oh, Mr. Banker, will you tell me what is this all about? Why are banks just so stupid about everything they're not stupid they're there to make money yep. off of you yeah and the longer the money sits in say her account at chase before it goes over to my account they're, well, they're making, making money more money they're yep. paying than they are paying her in interest on that money oh yep. well what's the interest on that money i mean exactly. i had i had 50 Point zero 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 yeah. one. well yeah. i had fifty thousand in a savings account at Bank of America. And they said, you know, you really should get one of the interest uh, interest CD. bearing, you know, one of the bigger, mm. yeah, I don't know, whatever. CD. Yeah. CD. So, uh, so I went and I did that. They said, you got to keep at least $3,000 in there in order to keep it going. Oh. Okay. So I go, okay, I'm not going to go down that low. And I, I did it. I went from getting on $50,000, something like 75 cents in interest yeah. to $2.75. Right. But they're using your money to loan it to other people at more than that rate. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, come on. You know, when I went, I, I, am, I, am I wrong about this? When I was a kid and I opened up a bank account, I used to get 5% interest. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we have an was... interest rate rise in what three years now. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is that you get a five percent interest rate when I was a kid on your money today. Yeah, but if then, I'm but lucky then, if I'm getting then, point something. You know, oh, point because there's no rates. But they're going to raise rates two or three times this year, not to any great extent. Yeah, my, my my car interest rate back in the 80s was 17 and a half percent. My wow. house was 12 percent. And now, of course, you know, the, the you can get a three percent on your house or four percent. Yeah, I'm at two and a half percent on my house now. So that's why they're not paying anybody. Wait a minute, you can get a you I mean, you 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 you, you <clears> couldn't <throat> get a you, you couldn't get a house loan. For more less than seventeen percent or something. Oh, in those days, that was, uh, this was yeah. was nineteen eighty-two. Yeah, seventeen percent. Yeah. And so now and that's the, when you get a CD that would pay you ten percent. Yeah. If you will, let's say a five-year. Okay, but if, if I buy a um, uh, buy a house now and I want to be charged well, money, should, what well, is my in, the interest payment? I'm, I'm at two point nine nine right now. Yeah. You would get the same rate. If you went to the right broker or bank or whatever, that's what. What is Ray Renati doing? What, you're not up in. <laughs> <laughs> Got a movie going. That's the snow in the, in the Sierra. That's the Bear Valley Live oh. Cam. Oh, 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 that's the Bay, Bay, Bear Valley Live Cam. Oh, okay. So it's, it's snowing nicely up there. And there's snowmobiling. It looks like skiing. Well, there's some so, snow. Are those there. skiers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How, anybody here ski? No. I used to. Okay. I used to. I'm, gl I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I I'll break my do. leg. I hate snow. I, I, I broke I my leg over my ACL last skiing, April right. and had to have surgery. You, okay. had, you had to have surgery, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had surgery uh, in 
uh, August mm -hmm. because I tore my ACL in eight in April in my left knee, and I I've been going to physical therapy twice a week since then. Wow. When it comes to skiing, I have two words: Sunny Bona. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And what uh, didn't uh, didn't what didn't one of the Kennedys die like the same week or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson's wife. Oh, yeah. Right. Died yeah. skiing. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, well, no, yeah. she died late. She died weeks later. later, but it later. Was years later. Years later. Skiing it was as a, as a result of the of the yeah. of a yeah. skiing accident. Yeah. yeah. So how? Yeah, with, um, was it Redgrave? Natasha Redgrave. Redgrave. Uh, Richard, or, yeah. No, Natasha Richardson. 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 Yeah. 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 So, well, it's not, uh, that's not uncommon people dying in skiing accidents. I mean, they do it. That's it. Yeah. My brother skied into a tree once. He survived. My ex husband <laughs> skied into a tree. Me too. I think there's a good chance you're going to wind up hitting a tree. I mean, the, you I know, broke, like, I broke my leg trying to avoid running into a tree. <laughs> well, I say, yeah, okay. Oh, you don't get out of the way. But... And, you, and you know why I don't ski? Because I don't want to run into a tree. Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Well, I was on the plane coming back from Colorado once, and you should have seen the number of people with the cast or whatever <laughs> up to their top of their thigh. Oh, geez. Wow. Well, now here with sports is Marjorie Miller. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the uh, the the race or the uh, or the race the Australian? Uh, I can't talk today. I can't think straight. What the Australian? Yeah, one twenty one, the most in history. Yeah, that could have been what's his name, but it's not Djokovic. Could have been Djokovic. Yeah, I'm glad it's not. Send him a thank you note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rub it in. Well, you say they're not gonna they're not gonna allow him at Wimbledon or French Open. Oh, ow, it's not ow. official yet, but it will probably they probably will not allow him to participate. And this is because of the douchebaggery in Australia, right? Yeah. yeah. All, oh yeah. no! All he has to do is go get vaccinated. 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 That's all he has to do: get vaccinated. Get the jab. You know, I remember there was a time when I first went to Europe. The station put me through a fast paced thing to get me to England. And so they got me a, a, a passport in one day and everything. And one of the things I had to do was get my shots. Mm -hmm. You could not travel to Europe unless you had certain shots. I can't remember. Well, like was. yellow fever shots if you were going to like Africa or somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. one of those kind of countries. Yeah. You know, one of those but I mean, you would not be allowed into certain countries if you didn't have a vaccination. Or proof oh, I got a jab going to Japan and Korea. I was like, all the time. So in this case, why shouldn't they say, hey, you know, screw you. If you're not vaccinated, you're not coming into our country. We don't want your cooties. Well, he's playing the rich privilege person mm. well apparently he's not well you know he didn't get away with it isn't he he's not he's, well liked are we suing australia now isn't he well he claims well <laughs> that's like mr trump suing everybody in sight and then it eventually just goes away yeah by the way do you, do you hear him the other well i don't want to get it for you no that's why i'm not that's bringing not. that up uh, no we don't want to we don't, can I say one thing about him? Right, he did say in this Texas rally, right, that if he's indicted, he's there's going to be a racial civil war. And then today, there are six bomb threats at historically black colleges. Surprise! Tell, tell me that's not related. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, here's my and shot. Gonna, fixes, and again, not ready? to be political. And then he plans on pardoning everyone from January 6th yeah, right. president again. Well, it makes me feel sad that I didn't have anything to do with it now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And he was going to go there but, with you. But let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's move on. My favorite story of the day was Whoopi Goldberg on The View today saying that the Holocaust was not about race, had nothing to do with race. Oh. You know, well, ask, ask, the, ask the Nazis if it had anything to do with race. Wait a minute. Whoopi Goldberg said it had nothing to do with race? Yeah, and they all turned on her, Joy Behar and the rest of them. They were shocked. And she insisted. She said they were both groups are white. It has nothing to do with race. It's all lives matter. Race, really? Yep. 
Well, but I mean, it's Judaism it's isn't a race, it's a religion. It's a religion. No, the Romans no. were right. a race. The, the gypsies were a race. They, they, they the Nazi thing was the master mm. race. These people are not, you know. Yeah. They were not racially pure. Right. Mm -hmm. They weren't blonde and blue eyed. It was right. about race. That's awfully stupid of Whoopi to say. What's happening to her? Who knows? She's bought the Kool Aid. She drank the Kool Aid of the ultra, ultra, ultra left. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, raid. I'm, it, no, it, it's just amazing to me because she, um, she, she, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. She's doesn't. a black woman who took the name Goldberg. It doesn't fit at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, isn't she supposedly part Jewish? Maybe I'm wrong on that. I, I don't, don't know that her right. real. I don't know that her real name is Goldberg. It's not. I don't think. Or it's not. Yeah. Um. Um. And I'll make better her first name. It isn't really Whoopi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody not use the name Whoopi if it was their name? Come on. Karen, Karen Elaine Johnson. <laughs> wow. Doesn't yeah. sound like a Whoopi Goldberg. She's a Karen. Please. She's a yeah. Karen with a C. But she's what? the Karen with a C A R Y. Yeah, C A R Y N. Oh, uh, why, where, where did where did Karen suddenly become a bad thing? I missed that memo. <laughs> I heard it was part of the black culture for years, and they just said it. Uh, black people said it amongst one another about white women. That's what I heard. Well, white yeah, but okay, women. so oh, so they did. Why? Why Karen? Why not like that? Typical old-fashioned white person name. It's kind of a yeah, generic, typical white name. Generic white woman name. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I mean, how about Marjorie? That's a real white. Oh, well, Marjorie's are nice. Are you Marjorie. ready to hear? You got to hear where Whoopi came from. Where do you think Whoopi came from? Canada. Right. Alex Bennett's radio show. Canada. Yeah. That came from the cushion, right? She wow. stated that her stage name was taken from the Whoopi cushion. When performing on stage, you never really have time to go to the bathroom and close the door. So you get a little gassy and you have to let it go. So people used to say to me, you're like a whoopee cushion. And that's where yeah. it came from. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. That's wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so where's Darla this week? She wasn't here last week either. Who? Mandy. <laughs> huh? Mandy? Mandy. Mandy. Yeah, oh, she posted, she posted on Facebook this morning, so she's around. Not dead. Oh, okay. All right. I was just wondering what happened to her. You know, we haven't it's seen that her. time of the season where she actually has to work. Yeah, yeah. could be. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't say anything the last time she was on that should bother her, did I? Oh, no. like stop being so insecure. I am. No, I'm sure she. Had, I'm sure she's working right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you said something. Huh? <laughs> What? I think you said something. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't smoke weed, Alex. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. And I really don't. Not anymore. No. No, except at night. At night, I will take a couple of puffs off the vape to put me to help put me to sleep. And then it uh, it does, mm. you know, get me into la la land faster than if I just lie there and try to sleep so whatever so anyway what is so what else is happening in this wonderful world of ours that we that we don't well, you saw you saw miss palin announced she has covid and then just went to rest on <laughs> yes, the New, York saw that one too. In New York oh, city God, and they didn't ask for her card no no because she was sarah palin and then she was forcing people to take selfies with her. Oh, jeez. How, how is she still a thing? Yeah. Well, that's what I want to know. Got me? She's, yes. got, she's got the real ass. Know, folks, in case you're watching this, this is about as political as we get. You know, like, what did Sarah Palin have for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> what well, restaurant when, uh, was she, you know, I know the restaurant the other night, you know. Yeah. The the and, and somebody at the table, I don't know if you saw the video, was coughing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. now, the restaurant was Elio's on the Upper East Side. Right, right. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. She's, you know, they think she's a celebrity. They let her write it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but and she's with a New York Ranger 
Hall of Famer, therefore they're both allowed in. That's probably why she got in was because yeah. she was with him. Yeah, that might be. Yeah. That, they, might, he's a New York, that he's makes a, sense. Because let's face it, Sarah Palin's the kind of person when somebody says, this is Sarah Palin, somebody now goes, who? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, really. I mean, that well, much yeah, true. but she was on the mask singer after all. Right. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe they thought well, maybe they apparently thought of- she told the court that's hearing this case of hers or the lawyer that we don't want the New York Times showing the footage of her and the mask singer singer. And the New York Times says, We weren't gonna show it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She Maybe they're like the dancing bear that. on it or something. Seriously, do I even want to see that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she sang? What did she sing? Baby's got back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <sighs> uh, did she hurt. Find, hurt. Or did, or did they find her out? Oh. Yeah. All I, that oh, hurt. she was out very I again I've never seen this another show I've By the way, seen. I should mention that I think Martin, she was off it very quickly. Yeah, getting to something which is just fun. Marjorie and I we get all these academy screeners uh we call them academy screeners they're really sag they're sag screeners yeah and and uh, we watch them online and uh, we watched a really good film this week Mm. nightmare alley which is on hbo max starting saturday is it really yeah have you seen the original the 1948 no great film Oh, that's Tyrone, a great film. Tyrone Power, it's fantastic. Yeah, well, I hear it's wonderful in it. It's yeah, basically, it's basically the same plot almost. Uh, but I mean, this film is just wonderfully done. It's just and beautifully the done. Huh? The cast. The, yeah, the cast is incredible. I mean, it's just really a great film. And uh, what else do we watch? That, you know? Did I hear, did I get this from you guys about? that Netflix documentary Heist? No. Okay. They've got a new documentary on there called Heist and it has several storylines, one of which was the theft of Happy Van Winkle bourbon from the Buffalo Trace Distillery back in 2013. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Explain this to me. What? <laughs> okay. Back in 2013, yeah. it was discovered that bottles of 15 and 20 year old bourbon called Pappy Van Winkle was disappearing from the warehouse and they couldn't figure out where it was going. Hmm. Well, the guy who, who got nailed for it essentially was discovered because a friend of his was stealing whole barrels of wild turkey from the wild turkey <laughs> distillery and somebody turned him in because these barrels were stored in his backyard. <laughs> and it went from there. All totaled, they figured about one point six million dollars worth of bourbon was stolen from Buffalo Trace wow. and Al Turkey. Sounds about right. And that wow. basically was taking it away from from Scott's supply. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only a guy from Kentucky would enjoy that show. I think, though. <laughs> oh, the first the first story was the best one because this was about a twenty one year old woman who was taken in by this con artist and they stole $3.2 million from the Loomis uh, armored car company in Las Vegas. Wow. And then went on, and then went on the lam. Hmm. Well, yeah. She eventually, she eventually came back to this country and is paying restitution even today. But uh, the guy that she was with has never been found. Hmm. Uh, that's what I'd do after I'd boosted an armored car. I'd get the hell out of Dodge, too. <laughs> oh, well, what was interesting, how they got away, okay? Oh, okay. They put, they, they put the money, they hired a private jet and put the money in suitcases like it was their luggage, and they flew out of Las Vegas on a chartered private jet. Mm. That's a lot of luggage for, if, if they, they were moving $3.2 million in cash? Yeah. That's a lot of luggage. Oh, the, the, there you go. There's Sarah Palin. On the mask singer. Oh God! Don't do that, Ray, because it's copyrighted material. Like you know, yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. Get, I can't hear you, Ray. You're, 
Sorry, I'm taking it. Yeah, you take the picture off. There we go. That I don't think is in copyright. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's snow. I think it's generic. It's, uh, uh, well, it's let's go to Shecky. He knows what's in copyright and what's not in copyright. <laughs> With a fee. Go to YouTube. <laughs> Nothing's in copyright on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Except Bill Maher. They have people posting his show on YouTube all the time, and it gets taken down almost immediately. Really? Well, he has it taken down. He personally, yeah. his company yeah. or him. Right. Yeah. Well, you have to, you, you know. You have you, to have somebody who's going to say, take, like, let's say this show. If Alex said to YouTube, take it down, they would have to because Alex put a complaint in. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So that's that. Well, I remember getting hit with some kind of bogus DCMA takedown. They claimed that they owned the stuff that I made. Hmm. <laughs> How does that work? Wait a minute. And this was all stuff that was yours completely. Yeah, you were not using source material or anything else. Yeah, it was. this was my content. And somebody was trying to file a, 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 some kind of DCMA claim against it. And I'm like, but then I came to find out that this person had been hitting just about everybody on YouTube with these DCMA claims. Let me ask you, though, Shecky, because Shecky is the expert on this. I mean, this is the guy who supplied all the film clips and stuff to the Letterman show and things like that and has to know about copyright. Right. Right, Shecky. I'm, you're pretty good at this. I'm good, but I'm not. Yeah kind of expert but, but a lot of people mind. will claim well i can use that because it's fair use now there is a thing saying you can use something for fair use you can use like on um, music i think up to 30 seconds yeah yeah you but, know that's why like on the sports radio shows and they do the rejoin they'll play like 28 seconds of whomever right. but they can't play more than that yeah. well like for example if i was doing a a, a, a a movie that just come out and i was going to do a critique on it on youtube i could use a certain section certain segment of the movie to talk about it not but i can't, no, I, I I can't so. play it in its entirety no no of course not but shecky would that be proper or or because i do know that they used to always send out film clips to tv shows to use for a movie they were talking about but after a certain amount of time, those film clips became well, unusable. Then, that's pre-YouTube pre era. And now Paramount or Touchstone, if they still exist, or Disney would have to put a claim in. Mm. Yeah. See, here's another, another a little problem. Um, well, I forgot now what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I, have a, I have a memory problem. Uh, <laughs> and I forget what the other one was. <laughs> Glenn, how's the weather out in California? It's uh, six sixties and sunny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, and how about that in Texas, Scott? Sixty-seven. How about you and uh, Charlie? You're in. Uh, I'm in uh, Austin. Austin. It's Fifty-five and raining. Oh, okay. How about you, you Steve? Uh, I can I can tell you, Steve. It's twenty eight uh, degrees. Yeah. I was say about thirty degrees and sunny. It's a nice day. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. And when you got up this, yeah, when you got up this morning, Marjorie, it was seventeen. Seventeen when I went out. Yeah, William yeah. Ferguson. Where are you, William? I forget again. Yuba City, California. Yuba City, California. So two hours from the. And Seattle. Edward Berger. How? Yeah, it's I'm over Flushing. So very close to you, you know, okay. to what the weather wise. It's 28 degrees there too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. God, I don't envy you. That's it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. 43 degrees in uh, in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. That's chilly. Hmm? Yeah, that's oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but in a few months it'll be a hundred degrees here in New York. So yeah. <laughs> Well, let me ask you, let's go around the panel and just ask this question. Where would you rather be right now rather than here? Here in the world? Rather, yeah, rather anyway. than on the Alex Bennett show, you mean? Or? I, I, no, I, I know you're just doing this to keep me happy. But, you know, uh, uh, no, but I mean, if, Shecky, where would you rather be in the whole world right now? Egypt. Egypt? Yeah, I'm a cruise down the Nile. Oh, okay. 
Have you ever done that? No, because we've had this problem for two years. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, but uh, do you have a plan to go down the Nile? As soon as we're allowed to again, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Edward, where would you rather be right now? Someplace warm like Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you, Charlie? Because, you know, Florida was only like 25 degrees yeah. the other day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, probably the Yucatan Peninsula. Someplace warm. Oh, wow. Everybody's picking warm right now, yeah. right? Yeah. When it's the middle of summer, they'll be talking about someplace that's cold. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the Arctic. I want to go to Greenland. <laughs> How about you, Scott? Where would you want to be if you could go anywhere? Uh, Barcelona, Spain, I think. Very good choice. Very lovely choice. Yeah. I love that town. How about you, Len? Tuscany, Italy, or, or the south of Portugal? There you go. Tuscany. I went to Tuscany with Marjorie, but she had a bad leg. Mm. Was it your leg? What was it? Was it the hip? My back. Your back. So yeah, she was but... on crutches. So she oh. had to stay in the hotel room while I, uh, where were we that I saw the. We were in Siena, Siena. Siena. I, I saw all of Siena, but she didn't see any of it. Or see, she, she, you saw a little bit of it. I took you in a car. Very little. You promised to bring me back. Hmm. Uh, you promised to bring me back. Oh, well, okay. We'll meet well. you there this fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, actually, yeah. I would say also, I just thought of it, Venice. Yeah. Venice? Okay, I've never been to Venice. Oh. It's pretty whoa, great. Oh, <laughs> just go to Las Vegas. Vegas. It's almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's you? more water in Venice. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Steve Bender? Where would you rather be right now? I mean, you know, I like Manhattan, but uh, I would go to Paris, you know. That's for my choice, Paris. And, you know, Paris is, is a close second to Manhattan for me, so. Oh, yeah, it's a lot like Manhattan. <laughs> Only the problem is over there, they have a different word for every word. It's, yes. it's really amazing. And but, but I'll tell you one thing, the kids over there are smarter than our kids. That's not saying a whole lot. <laughs> speaking, at five years old, they're speaking fluent French. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> William? Well, uh, well, my wife's been pestering me to go to Indonesia to see her family, so that's where I'm going to go. Oh, okay, but I'm I'm saying where you would rather be, rather than where well, you're being yeah, pussy whipped uh, to go. Santorini, Greece. Mm, nice. Oh, ah, very nice. Yeah. That's where yeah. I'd like to be. Yeah. How about you, Vernon? I've always wanted to see New Zealand. Mm -hmm. supposedly a good choice it's, a, it's yeah. an interesting place New Zealand has majestic mountains and sheep yeah <laughs> Marjorie Marjorie where would you rather be Paris Paris okay all right I, 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 Paris is not my first choice but Barcelona would probably be my first choice if I had to pick a place Ray oh uh Probably Lake Como or Paris. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. you go to Ibiza back in the eighties, Alex? With I used to go there a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I wouldn't go there now. Now it's just you know, it's just Awful. drunks. I've seen it, pictures it, it, of it. It's wow. terrible. It's terrible. Oh, wow. mm. It used to be. I mean, we were a bunch of people who went there because nobody else was going there. Mm. And it was just a nice place to go. And then we I had friends that lived out in the country, didn't even have electricity. Okay. The big deal was spending the whole day trimming the wicks for the lanterns. So you had some light at night. And um, twice. The first time it was great, like you're saying. The second time it was just disco rich really? people. Well, yeah. it was. You, did you go, Steve? Yeah, twice. And the second time I wouldn't go. I would when, never come back. When was the first time you went? It's like seventy nine or seventy eight. Yeah, I did it in. Um, I did it. In the, yeah, I did it in the seventies. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like, and I went over several times. It was it was adventurous, it was, and it was yeah. a little little dangerous too. Mm. You know, was, yeah, absolutely. I rented a moped and we just cruise around in the hills, and so it was fantastic. Somebody said, "There's nothing better than living on the edge of the razor." You know, <laughs> it, it, it's just there's something about that that gives you a certain sense of excitement. And over there, was Franco still uh, head of the country at that time when I you don't went? I don't think so. Because when I, I did, he was. 
and you had that feeling of danger. You know, they were checking your papers. I felt like I was in the movie Casablanca. Uh, maybe he was because I was going through Spain, and there were always there were people with you know weapons and guards everywhere. Oh, that was Franco. That was yeah. Franco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure and Franco is still dead. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's still dead. He's still dead. Oh boy. Uh, so anyway, so it's it's uh, you know uh, we're. I, I wish I could say you know we had something exciting. Do we have some anything exciting to talk about, Marjorie? Nothing. We don't do anything exciting. <laughs> well, we haven't done anything exciting in two years, Alex. I mean, That's no, true. You can't. Well, you know, yeah. I, can we go out again, Steve, here? Shecky, I, I, I've been going to movies and three concerts a week for the last, you know, months. So wow. I just don't want to sit there with the damn mask on. I admit it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's getting old, man. <laughs> you know, let's go to a four-hour opera, and I have to wear a mask for four hours. I don't. I don't think. I got to tell you, I don't think I miss a movie theater. I didn't. Think, I didn't think I did until I went, and then seeing. You know, I went to see West Side Story, mm -hmm. and see, seeing that on a giant screen, it was really a nice thing. It was. It's not like watching it on. I, I have a big flat screen, but it's well, not. I, I saw it on a large screen here at home, and it, it played just <laughs> fine. You know, yeah, I don't think it's the same. And the popcorn is really cheaper. It I is the it same the if you if it has the same field of view that you would normally have sitting in the theater. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's a 55 inch screen or it's a thousand inch screen. I mean, I saw 2001 in Cinerama when it came out. You could that's, go sit. You could, you could go sit really close to your TV. Yeah. No, no, no that's a different story <laughs> altogether. Okay. Uh, but but uh, West Side Story, I mean, I can't see how I would have gotten a better experience than I had. Oh, yeah, maybe having the person kicking the seat in back of me. <laughs> no, the problem, you know, I, I, I miss that. I miss is, that. This one's on their cell phone. This one's talking as if they're in their living room. This one's, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, if the other great, people. What's great about going to the movies during the pandemic is there are four nobody's people. There. Yeah. there are four yeah. people there. So, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. But now yeah, you, got, huh? you got to go sit and talk to the finance manager to buy a thing of popcorn and a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, I, I, I miss, I miss getting the back of my seat kicked and the crying baby and uh, what else? Uh, the people on their cell phones, the ones on cell phones, just, and they go on their cell phone and they stay on their cell phone. Yeah. I'm going, well, my ex wife did do that. Oh, Really? I mean, you pay how much money. money to get into this theater and you're wasting it by getting on the phone? And then and if you say something to them, they could be the one who pulls the gun out and shoots you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You don't know what kind of day they've had, how much lithium they're on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you been to theaters at all, Vernon, since uh, the epidemic started? No, I don't know. I, I it, but I it's not so much now because I'm afraid of going as I just really am not that fond of movie theaters any longer. Like if, Shecky, you're a big film goer. I mean, you love films and you know films. But I had said to you, West Side Story, it'll be on Blu-ray March, April. I can yeah. wait. Is it worth spending forty dollars for two of you to go? You know the. It just seems like forty dollars. Let me explain you. Let me give you the rundown. Okay. Okay. $40, $42 for two senior tickets. Yeah. What? Not yeah. here. Oh, shit. Yeah. That is, that's not true, Alex. It, uh, that's New York prices. No, no senior, gotta be. senior tickets of $14. No. Where? Where? In the theater, I've, I've gone to four different theaters in the last two weeks. Well, I mean, maybe be cheaper than they were, but we were, paying, four, we, were paying, we were paying $21 each. Might for, have been for 3D, oh, Alex. 3D movie. 3D, maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, so let's the say for, for 3D movie. Then the popcorn, the popcorn and soda, and the, and the soda. Is, comes, to another, comes to another 15. But we have to take a cab there. We have to take a cab home. Right. That's another thirty dollars. How much does it just cost us to go to the movies? But I, I agree with you. I would I would never do that. But I go to the movies. I I put a bagel in a bag, a bagel and cream, <laughs> and a cup of coffee in a bag. Fourteen dollar ticket, and I sit and see a movie and come home. 
And I walk That's there. You can, and you can walk over to the right. ones, on, you yeah. know, the- It cost me $14 total. Or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so door to door, that's a big difference. Right? Okay, well, fine. Well, we could walk up to the local movie theater, the one where they say no guns allowed. They actually have a sign outside. It's a gun with a slash through it. <laughs> Here it's 10 bucks. I went and saw West Side Story for 10 bucks. It looks like tickets here are about 11 50 now for adult, child, and senior. They don't have any break. Wow. So, wow. I don't, it's been a while. Hey, listen, I just looked at the clock. We've hit the magic hour of five o'clock Eastern. Boy, I, I so enjoy this. Uh, and uh, somebody write Mandy and ask her why she hasn't been on. Yeah, I'll, I'll text her and see what she's up to. Yeah, and then text me and let me know what she says. Okay. <laughs> tell, her, tell her we miss her, you know. Uh, but anyway, I, miss, I, I don't miss you guys because you're here. And Rick, terrific. Great, great to have you here. Uh, we'll get to Edward last. Right. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much for being here. Scott Boddicker, right. always nice to see you, your, your shining countenance. Uh, Len LaFrisco, great. Uh, Steve Bender, think the world of you. William McFerguson, don't be a stranger to this show. Do it more often. Schedule, man, but I'm glad you're doing this in the day now, and I can make these more often. Okay, <laughs> please do it. Vernon Nunn, thank you. I appreciate it, of course, as always. Marjorie Miller, are you still married to me? I'm still here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, no plans of divorce or anything like that. Because <laughs> I've, I've had it with lawyers, okay? And Ray <laughs> Renati, thank you so much. Um, and finally, Edward Berger will sign us off by saying, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Awesome. Million-dollar okay, voice. Right? Everybody wave goodbye. <laughs> wave goodbye. Oh, okay, there they go, ladies.